Good afternoon, another beautiful day in San Diego, California. Today I want to talk about a very important uh, concept as relates to your fitness training. Also relates to pretty much everything in life. And what that is, is intention. Intention is what your focus is. Uh, it's a part of your mind, but it's not the same as awareness or consciousness. Intention has to do with what you intend to do. So it's the specific aspect of the decision-making process. Intention. Why is that important for your fitness? Well, because the mind is the commander and the body obeys the mind, not the other way around. Okay. When the body has already had enough and wants to give up, it's the mind that tells you, no, you're going to keep going. Okay, so the mind actually carries the body. If you talk to any high-level athlete in any sport uh, that has a long career, they're almost always going to tell you that the game is mostly mental, sometimes even 90% mental. That's in any game because you start to learn that it's the mind that directs the body and not the other way around. Okay, the body, even if you're the strongest guy in the world when you're 30 years old, the body's gonna age, the body can get injured, the body can get sick, the body will die. Okay, but the consciousness is eternal. There's no limitations other than the limits that you set on yourself. Okay, so intention and how that relates to fitness. First of all, what we call fitness is a modern phenomenon. Okay, it's a modern development. Uh, our ancestors did not work out. They did something else called work. Okay, so maybe they were working in the farms or the fields for 12, 16 hours a day. They didn't get off of work and say, hey, I gotta go work out. No, they rest, eat, get ready to do it again. So they worked. Modern civilization, we don't usually use our bodies very much. We sit in cubicles, on computers and so we're not really working with our body we're working with our mind and so because of that the body starts deteriorating and so what we call fitness and exercise is really an antidote to modern living okay so with that in mind if you go back in history all exercise tools and today I'm going to demonstrate this idea about intention using a mace this is a, a on it on it mace bell okay mace steel mace or mace bell okay so I'm going to use this to demonstrate what I'm talking about with intention but if you go back in time all these implements that we're using especially the longer implements they're all come from warfare they all come as weapons so a mace is actually a weapon long before it was an exercise tool okay so now with intention I'm going to show you a move called uh, the grave digger, a mace grave digger. Okay, and this is a traditional mace movement. There's different ways that it can be done. There's individual differences. Everyone's a little different in how they want to express a movement. That also has to do with intention. But the basic movement is you're going to have the one hand in the end of the handle, the other hand in front. It's going to come down and up. It's a pretty simple move, but it's actually very cardio because you're kind of opening and closing your chest cavity. The hands are coming overhead so you get that acceleration of blood to the heart. So your, your uh, breathing and your heart rate is going to accelerate really fast. It's a good conditioning movement. So now, intention. When you use the mace, you're going to remember that it's a weapon. And so the weapon, in this case, it's a bludgeon. Okay, this isn't really a weapon mace, but in the olden days, it would be a bludgeon. There'd probably be spikes on the end of this so you could swing it and hit somebody with a mace. Refer to Conan uh, the Destroyer. Will Chamberlain had that mace. Okay, so, but this could also be a blade, okay, or a bludgeon. So let's forget about the mace for a minute. And I'm gonna use a staff, a bow staff, okay? So from here, now I have a weapon. Okay, when I come up, that's a strike, and actually, if this is a sword, I'm slicing, slicing all the way up, okay? It's a stick hitting under the chin, okay? So here, okay, that's an application. 
I'm coming up, striking. Okay, now this, this is also, that's a strike. So I have strike, 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 okay? So now with that, I have a clear intention, a clear focus on what exactly I'm doing with this movement, okay? You eliminate the guesswork, because now you have a specific thing in mind. So from here, I have a strike. There's my strike. Boom, that's my strike. Strike, strike. And actually from here, I like to actually come more on the rear leg when I do it. It's not a traditional way of doing it, but if you think of a martial art, if somebody is attacking with a spear or a sword, I'm actually yielding, yielding away, pinning that weapon down, and then boom, coming up and striking. So it's So this hopefully illustrates clearly for you the importance of having intention, a clear focus. Now, of course, in this day and age, we don't really fight with swords and staff. Uh, we use our minds, okay, push buttons and things like that, give orders, other people fight, okay? So, but the basic idea, all of these fitness tools, if you go back in origin, it comes from martial art application. So if you understand what the purpose of the movement is, now you have a clear intention, you're gonna get much better results out of your workouts because you're gonna have your mind and your body harmonized working as one. So that's my tip for today. Have fun.